Hello and welcome to At Home with Anita Rosner. Well, another summer is on its way out, so let's take advantage of those beautiful farm fresh berries while we still have the chance. Today, we're making a blackberry crumble pie. Mmm. <laughs> The full recipe will be down in the description, but you will need sugar, flour, cornstarch, nutmeg, fresh berries, water, salt, and butter. Wash three to four cups of fresh blackberries and then set them aside to drain. Preheat your oven to 350. In a saucepan, combine your water and your cornstarch. Stir to combine. Add the sugar and turn the heat up to medium low. Stir constantly until the mixture comes to a boil. Once the mixture comes to a boil, remove it from the heat. Add a dash of nutmeg. Toss the berries in the cornstarch and sugar mixture, making sure that they are well coated, then set aside. In a medium bowl, combine flour, sugar, and a pinch of salt. Whisk these together. Add your butter, then cut it into the flour mixture using a pastry cutter or a fork. Continue until you get a texture of coarse meal. In an unbaked pie shell, Add your berry filling. Cover the entire top with the crumble. Bake for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, cover the crust with a pie shield or strips of aluminum foil. Then bake for another 25 minutes. When the berries become bubbly and the crumble becomes a light golden brown, remove from the oven and cool completely on a wire rack. Just look at this beautiful, delicious, juicy pie. Now, I've let it cool to room temperature and you can serve it like this a tiny bit warmer but if it's too warm your filling will be runny and if you want it to be really kind of like a gel you could put it in the refrigerator before you serve it so here's our blackberry pie and it looks very yummy Mmm, it's so good. It's fresh, it's not too sweet, and that crumble topping is just the bomb diggity. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, become a subscriber, and ring that bell so you know every time I post. I hope you'll join me again here at home with Anita Rosner. Thanks for watching.